Hi, my name is Sanjoy Chaudhary. I'm a data enthusiast and love working with technologies like big data, data science, artificial intelligence, machine learning, as well as the traditional data warehousing and business intelligence systems. Reports at the different levels within the organization, right? Initially, the organizations were generating only transactional reports. Then they moved into generating reports at the MIS level from MIS systems. And finally, too, they created decision support systems to generate strategic reports. Data science is slightly different area, right? It is basically a multidisciplinary field that uses the scientific methods statistical processes, different kinds of mathematical algorithms and systems to extract knowledge and insights from both structured and unstructured data. Data science, with the coming of age of big data, organizations at all levels of all sizes have realized that they need to do data science activities so that they are able to remain competitive in the market. So data scientists are in demand in all in organizations of all sizes across all industries. So data analysis for data science is primarily done using your machine learning algorithms. Here is an image of different categories of types of machine learning algorithms. Okay. We see here the supervised learning algorithms, unsupervised learning, semi-supervised, reinforcement learning, and of course we have deep learning as well, right? And then these are further categorized into regression algorithms, classification algorithms, clustering, association, clustering algorithms, association uh, methods, and so on and so forth, right? All these algorithms are used for doing different kinds of analysis or performing different kinds of predictions. For example, regression analysis, you would be using it for example, predicting the price of houses in a certain locality or a certain time based on your past data. Classification algorithms are used widely in a lot of areas. One of the areas that they are being used nowadays heavily is for medical imaging where they are assisting doctors in analyzing medical images to understand what the images are and classify the images so that the doctors are able to make a better judgment and take their decisions accordingly. Classification algorithms, uh, we worked on a classification algorithm, we use logistic regression for trying to analyze the possibility of someone uh, doing a fraudulent enrollment for Aadhaar. When uh, we were working on the Aadhaar project, there was a possibility of people trying to get multiple Aadhaar numbers using fraudulent method and we used one kind of classification algorithm, the logistic regression algorithm to identify the probability that a certain enrollment was, whether it was fraudulent or not. So these algorithms are used in multiple areas across different domains of, of the industry. Now that we have taken a look at some of the data analysis uh, processes, uh, why do we do it? who exactly benefits from a certain kind of data analysis at what levels of the organizations. Let us take a quick look at some of the data management challenges that uh, practitioners and organizations face while working with data, especially while doing the data science uh, activities. Data collection is an important process uh, for doing any kind of analysis with the data, right? So one of the challenges that uh, practitioners face during a, in the data collection process is the lack of metadata 
in the data, right? Most of the time when we get the data, we don't have the metadata coming along with it. We all know what metadata is. It is basically uh, data about the data. It explains what a certain piece of data stands for and what it represents. So without proper metadata, right, sometimes it is becomes very difficult to understand what, what the piece of data represents and whether that data is useful or not for further analysis or for creating our predictive models. Another challenge is data granularity issues. So data coming from different sources would have different granularities and at times it is difficult to match them up. Also, a lot of times for data storage purposes, data is aggregated and stored, right? So the granularity is lost in, certain, in those circumstances. So if for some reason data is required at a more granular level later on, then it becomes a little difficult for accessing the granularity of the data. Uh, next comes data exploration. Once you have collected the data, the next job would be to sort of explore the data to see, uh, to have a basic understanding of the nature of the data. So one of the challenges that do come up during this process is your deduplication complexity. See the data is coming from different sources and hence uh, there is a possibility of duplicate data coming into the system. Now with huge volumes of data, deduplicating data becomes a very very complex process. Similarly with heterogeneity of the data. Since data is coming from different sources, it may differ in format, size, encoding, etc. And then trying to work with data for with all the dif these different characteristics and sort of trying to merge and mash it into one homogeneous piece becomes another very very complex issue, right? Remember working while working on a enterprise data warehouse project for HP Singapore, we had data coming into the enterprise warehouse at different levels of granularity and that became a huge challenge of storing the data into the same warehouse. So ultimately we had to create some of the stub data for the data which was coming at a higher granularity so that we could uh, store those data with the different granularity levels within the same warehouse. So after your data exploration process comes the process of data pre-processing. Okay. So in this process, we need to get rid of dirty data. Data is never clean and has to be cleansed before we can analyze it for any purpose. So cleaning of dirty data is also a big data management challenge, especially at the data pre-processing level. Another issue is managing categorical data. Categorical data, as you may know, is basically non-numerical data. And since machine learning algorithms have to work with numerical data, converting this non-numerical data into numerical data is a challenge. There are uh, processes like one-hop encoding, etc., for doing that. But if the volume of categorical data is very high, then the complexity increases multiple fold. Another area where a data management challenge is faced uh, by a data practitioners is during the data set preparation. One is data leakage, which means like when you're creating test and training data, if they are not well segregated, what would happen is the model that you create would not be able to perform well during your uh, when they see new unseen data. So your test and test data must be bifurcated well for the model to be robust. Another area that uh, needs to be taken care of is maintaining the quality of the data, which means the data need to be accurate, data need to be timely, and 
data need to be complete for it to be used properly for any kind of information generation from the data.